Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is all about how to use Canva to create a website. So if you just begin searching for website, you'll see it's suggested and you will find beautiful professional looking templates that you and your students can use for websites, but it gets better. It's not just images like you would kind of naturally think when it comes to Canva. So we're just going to scroll through here. We're going to find something that we like. Remember looking at the theme itself, how it looks is probably more important than the actual title and kind of what it's designed for, because that can be changed. But this is a birthday party website and you'll see to the left that there are five different pages in this template and you can click apply all five to apply all those pages to your website. And then you just go in here and you make your adjustments. So this might be Miss Bell's class. Fun all year. And you can come in here and just edit each page, make this what you want. This is bright and colorful. Um, you may not want it to look like a party, but you can change the, the image here. So I can just hit delete and then I can come and find another image, drag it in here, make it exactly what I want. Editing in Canva is super easy. But what I really wanted to show you is what happens up here. This is something I just learned as I was digging around is publish as website. So like I said, these are not just images. You can click on publish as website and choose the style. Um, most likely you're going to choose presentation style. So it's a multi-page site with easy page controls, but you can choose um, all different kinds. You can go classic navigation. It's going to give you a menu, et cetera. I'm going to stick kind of with the suggested one and just click open. And it's going to open in a new page. And here's the website. And so you can click around. This is obviously a pretty simplistic site, but I like that this is all connected and better yet, <laughs> I like that you can publish it right inside of Canva. So think of the different reasons you might use a website in your classroom. Maybe that's your teacher website, a project website, um, sharing different information online student websites, we could have e-portfolios, we could have student project sites, we'd have a lot of things um, that we would use a website for. And these are just an alternative, something else you may be using, maybe Google Sites, and that you can publish it. Please notice it is kind of in beta mode. So I think this is a relatively new feature, but I thought it was really interesting and enough so to make this video for you. So um, just click publish as a website and you've got it. Let's take a look though and see what it looks like with that classic navigation. I just want to see the comparison. And so you'll see it just automatically created that navigation at the top for each page. So most likely I would want navigation, but I guess it depends on what you're doing. This being kind of an invitation style wouldn't necessarily need that, but um, just nice to know what the difference is. So love, love, love Canva. If you do too, be sure that you check out my two-part podcast series and blog posts on how to use Canva in the classroom and find all these amazing, fun, and free templates. And if you like this tip, click that thumbs up and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye, y'all.